new CD, by the way, which came out in my right in November. Is that right? November? No, it came out here like uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. In the UK in November. Yeah, yeah that's right. Here it is right here. If you don't have a copy, I recommend that you get it. It's called Some Kind of Trouble. It's awesome. Let's go back for just a second, though, to 2005, to where it all started with, uh, with Bedlam. And uh, that CD was so huge for you. I believe it sold something like, I don't know, 11 to 12 million copies worldwide. Yeah, we sold about 12 million, but my mother bought about 2 million of those, so it doesn't count. <laughs> You were on Oprah at that time on Saturday Night Live. Your song is featured on Grey's Anatomy. Uh, you're performing on the Grammys. You're nominated for five Grammys. That all happened so fast. Was it a little bit of a whirlwind? Um, no, you know, I've been trying for many years. Just hit big at the, at the time. But no, I've been trying to do this since I was two years old. And I didn't have any success when I was three, but I had it when I was a little. Right. Was it, was it a little... Was it a little frightening though to have, I mean, because you, you kind of want, okay, well, let's, let's build this thing incrementally, and yet it just exploded right off the bat. No, really, I'm pretty simple, and you know, it's just music, and hopefully no one will die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to uh, before you actually launched your music career, though, too. You were, you were in, the, uh, in, the, in the British Army, uh, exactly. and that, that sort of was a family thing, because your dad was uh, enlisted, and uh, you served for a long time. In fact, little known fact, I was wondering, you're kind of looking for things that, that, uh, that people might find interesting about you. There was a time where you were actually enlisted to guard the coffin of the Queen Mother when she was laying in state back in, I think, 2002. How did that come to be? Yeah, it was pretty easy, you know, because she was dead, so no one was going to steal her or anything. <laughs> so it was a real hard job. Yeah, exactly. Um, I stopped World War III as well. These things you just do along with, during your time in the Army. Which is I recommend more. everyone to join this. It's good training to become a musician. All right, well, are you ready to hear James? 